Jeremiah 23, the righteous branch. Now, this Bible that I have is, says the righteous descendants. And this is also covering judgment on false prophets. And false prophecies and false prophets. What sorrow awaits the leaders of my people, the shepherds of my sheep. For they have destroyed and scattered the very ones they were expected to care for, says the Lord. Therefore, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says to the she to these shepherds. Instead of caring for my flock and leading them to safety, you have deserted them and driven them to destruction. Now I will pour out judgment on you for the evil you have done to them. But I will gather together the remnant of my flock from the countries where I have driven them. I will bring them back to their own sheepfold. And they will be fruitful and increase in number. Then I will appoint responsible shepherds who will care for them, and they will never be afraid again. Not a single one will be lost or missing. I, the Lord, have spoken. For the time is coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous descendant from King David's line. He will be, be a king who rules with wisdom. He will do what is just and right throughout the land, and this will be his name. The Lord is our righteousness. In that day, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. In that day, says the Lord, when people are taking an oath, they will no longer say, as surely as the Lord lives, who rescued the people of Israel from the land of Egypt. Instead, they will say, as surely as the Lord lives, who brought the people of Israel back to their own land from the land of the north and from all the countries to which he had ex exiled them, then they will live in their own land. Judgment on false prophets. My heart is broken because of the false prophets, and my bones tremble. I stagger like a, dr like a drunkard, like someone overcome by wine, because of the holy words the Lord has spoken against them. For the land is full of adultery, and it lies under a curse. And it lies under a curse. The land itself is in mourning; its wilderness pastures are dried up. For they all do evil and abuse what power they have. Even the priests and prophets are ungodly, wicked men. I have seen their despicable acts right here in my own temple, says the Lord. Therefore, the paths they take will become slippery. They will be chased through the dark, and they will fall. Will fall. For I will bring disaster upon them at the, at the time fixed for their punishment. I, the Lord, have spoken. I saw the prophets of Samaria were terrible. Were terribly evil, for they prophesied in the name of Baal and led my people of Israel into sin. But now I see that the prophets of Jerusalem are even worse. They commit adultery and love dishonesty. They encourage those who are doing evil so that no one turns away from their sins. These prophets are as wicked as the people of Sodom and Gomorrah once were. Therefore, this is what the Lord of Heaven's army says concerning the prophets. I'll feed them with bitterness and give them poison, poison to drink. For it is because of Jerusalem's prophets that wickedness has filled this land. This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says to his people. Do not listen to these prophets when they prophesy to you, filling you, with, filling you with futile hopes. They are making up everything they say. They do not speak for the Lord. They keep saying to those who despise my words, don't worry, the Lord says you will have peace. And to those who stubbornly follow their own desires, they say no harm will come your way. Have any of these prophets been in the Lord's presence to hear what he is really saying? Has even one of them cared enough to listen? Look, the Lord's anger bursts out like a storm, a whirlwind that swirls down on the heads of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will not diminish until it is, has finished all he has planned. In the days to come, you will understand all this very clearly. I have not sent these prophets, yet they run around claiming to speak for me. I have given them no message, yet they go on prophesying. 
If they had stood before me and listened to me, they would have spoken my words and they would have turned my people from me, their evil ways and deeds. Am I God who is only close at hand, says the Lord? No, I am far away at the same time. Can anyone hide from me in a secret place? Am I not everywhere in all the heavens and earth, says the Lord? I have heard these prophets say, Listen to the dream I had from God last night. And then they proceed to tell lies in my name. How long will this go on? If they are prophets, they are prophets of deceit, inventing everything they say. By telling these false dreams, they are trying to get my people to forget me, just as their ancestors did by worshiping the idols of Baal. Let these false prophets tell their dreams, but let my true messengers faithfully proclaim my every word. There is a difference between straw and grain. Does not my word burn like fire, says the Lord? Is it not like a mighty hammer that smashes a rock to pieces? Therefore, says the Lord, I am against these prophets who steal messages from each other and claim they are for me. I am against these smooth-tongued prophets who say, This prophecy is from the Lord. I am against these false prophets. Their imaginary dreams are fragrant, flagrant lies and lead my people into sin. I did not send or appoint them. And they have no message at all for my people. I, the Lord, have spoken. I'll say it once, and I've said it twice, and I'll say it again. I am the only prophet on this earth appointed by God to tell the people of the God, of God and Jesus Christ and the heavens coming into the earth. Suppose one of the people or one of the prophets or priests asks you, what prophecy has the Lord burdened you with now? You must reply, You are the burden. The Lord says He will abandon you. If any prophet, priest, or anyone else says, I have a prophecy from the Lord, I will, if any, what's that say? If any prophet, priest, or anyone else says, I have a prophecy from the Lord, I will punish that person along with his entire family. You should keep asking each other, What is the Lord's answer? Or what is the Lord saying? But stop using this phrase, prophecy, prophecy from the Lord, for people are using it to give authority to their own ideas, turning upside down the words of our God, the living God, the Lord of heaven's armies. Prophecies comes from the Bible written from the prophets, spoken to you by the prophet, the line of the prophets, and the chosen prophet of God. I am giving you God's messages to the earth. I did not ask for this. I am being told by God to do it. This is what you should say to them, prophets. What is the Lord's answer? Or what is the Lord saying? But suppose they respond, this is a prophecy from the Lord. Then you should say, this is what the Lord says. Because you have used this phrase, prophecy from the Lord, even though I warned you not to use it, I will forget you completely. I will expel you from my presence along with this this city that I gave to you and your ancestors. And I will make you an object of ridicule, and your name will be infamous throughout the ages. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.